Yo guys, I'm Faster Ride. Welcome along today. If you're new to the channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber. It's nice to have you along for the ride. So today what we're doing, we are going out for a ride. Uh, so I'm just going to give you an update on things because a lot of things have happened uh, since I last spoke to you, to be honest. So the first thing I suppose we'd better talk about is Lake Vernwe or whatever it's called. So I went on that last weekend with Crazy Legs, Cats Wheels, Moist Decoy, Motor Vlog UK and loads of other people there. It was great, a great weekend. Uh, yeah, the, we had such a good laugh, it was we had a it was just fun, it was great, honestly. If you ever get a chance to go on one of them weekends, then do it, because it, it costs next to nothing. I think it costs you 30 quid for the weekend. I mean, for the Patreons as well, uh, who obviously pay money into uh, Moto Rev Tours, or Moto Tour, Moto Revs, that's it. To them, who Patreon, they paid for the food, so I donated another 30 quid. So it cost me 60 quid for the weekend with food. And it were all home cooked food, so it were proper nice. <laughs> you know, we're well worth uh, the money. But you have such a proper laugh. Uh, Craig and all them lot, you know, they're so funny and stuff, you know, they always make you feel welcome. They come round and chat to you and everything, which is really nice, you know. You go on some of these weekends and the host of it don't even bother to come round and chat, he's just too busy doing his own shit, isn't it? Or them, should I say. What else have we got going on? Oh, so the bike's had another load of work done to it. Oh my God, honestly. So it's had the fork seals done. That was 300 quid at the BMW garage. It's had a rear brake pipe put on and the rear ABS sensor. Now the reasons for them to be done, because if you remember last year when it was me and Crazy Legs were going to Lake Vermeer or whatever, um, exactly a year ago, that I forgot to put the uh, carriage back into the, you know, the brake caliper on the rear set. I forgot to put that back into the little slot. So it was just rotating, rotating around the uh, axle. So that proper messed up the uh, brake, the ABS sensor, it snapped the cable and the brake line bent out as well. So I've had that redone. And uh, yeah, so that's all done now. So there's nothing really left to do on the bike as such, apart from clean it. Because, as you may be aware, I am in the process of looking for another bike. Now, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to get. Because, uh, I, still, I keep changing my mind. One minute I keep getting a bloody Ducati Multistrada. And then uh, it's another XR. And then it might be a Triumph, it might be a Honda. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to get next yet. I have got a fairly good idea. I need it to do exactly like this bike does. Everything that this bike does. You know, it has to be fun to ride on the weekends and stuff, but then able to be able to, be able to put every, all the camping gear on and everything and uh, go out camping with the lads and doing some tours and stuff. So, as you may have seen, Crazy Legs' has, uh, bikes in the garage. Today, I think it goes in. I think he's taking it to Ducati because it got some damp in there and now it's having no but issues. So the Multistrada idea, uh, I think has been kicked into touch to be honest. I don't think I'll be getting one. Look at this, this pleb can't even see me. So he's just gonna go anywhere. You fucking bell end. <laughs> so also what's going on you may notice a bit different quality in the video well that's because I have got the GoPro 11 I treat myself to a GoPro 11 because I didn't bother with a 10 and I noticed the lads that did uh, get the 10 the quality was a bit better than the 9 it was the contrast was much better and the color profile was a bit better now this one 
has a bigger sensor. So now you can do eight by nine. Oh, we better turn up here actually. I'll go on here and have a nose eh? um, Yeah, so now this has an eight by nine sensor that you can produce at 4K and 5.3K. At the moment I'm doing 5K at 4K because it'll do 60 frames per second. And that's what I, all my videos are uploaded in, 60 FPS. God, it's a beautiful day here. Yeah. I'm sure there's a song in there somewhere. Just put on that up. Hello, lady. Got you good looking, good looking girl. Yeah, so I just thought I'd come out for a ride on bike because uh, why the hell not? basically so my mate Jared uh, stayed over last night with his girlfriend Grace uh, they've just gone home now today Moist Decoy and Motorvlog UK were supposed to come up and stay for the night So they were, they were supposed to come up tonight, but sadly, sadly, a lot of people from the Lake Vernwy Weekender have got uh, COVID. Now, thankfully, I've been lucky and not got it. But Paul Moisty, poor Dave and Max, Maximilian, have all got COVID. So that's a bit shit. Look at this reservoir, how down it is, Jesus Christ, it is low. Yeah, they are the low. Low as a snake's ball sack. Yeah, so while the bike was in as well, I had a S1000R for the day for 24 hours, well, over two days. And honestly, I hated it. It was absolutely awful. It's the same engine and power as this. But Jesus Christ, it were awful to ride, honestly. Your knees were up by your chin. Yeah, it was just, all your weight was on your wrists. Oh God, it was disgusting. I couldn't wait to get the, uh, to get my XR back. I'm only gonna be two minutes here, I reckon. Turn that music down. Let's have a quick look. A little drop loads of stone, I bet they're gonna repave all this. Look at this, that little reservoir's not that low. So it makes me wonder what the GoPro's gonna be like today, if it's gonna be any good. If it's uh if the colour, the contrast and everything's gonna be alright. I know that Crazy Legs was having a few issues with the sky. He was getting pixelation in it a little bit. This is why he's uh, using the th the new 360. Yeah. So look, I've had the new pipe done here. In fact, it looks a little wet around there. Oh, that might be where they bled it. And I've got a new ABS sensor on there. I need to do the front ABS sensor now. But that means taking this panel off because it connects in here somewhere. So that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Right, so let's go and have a, a quick mooch around. We're going to go down the good road now, which is where all them cars are.
solid view, eh? Right down these pylons. Watch where I'm going. Smoking weed, lad. I can smell it. Oh, look, you can walk on there now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of a different one. But I wanted to show you this. This is why I've come up this way. It's kind of crazy. You see all sorts. Now the, now the reservoirs are so low. You know? Makes you wonder if they found dead bodies and stuff. It's fucking crazy. Look at that. I'm going to pull over here anyway so you can have a look. But look at this down here. Look at that bridge there. So that bridge is submerged all the time in the water. Cause you can see the water line there where that dog is. Crazy, isn't it? I'm just gonna pull in here. Fuck it. We're gonna go have a quick look. But look, you can you can go. Well, you're not really allowed to go in that gate, and then down that track, and then this must be like the old bridge. Well, I can hear motorbikes. Yeah, look, they're coming down that hill there, and some mint corners. This road here, Blackstone Edge, is brilliant for motorbikes. But yeah, look at this. Isn't it crazy, that? That is mint. <laughs> but the signs up on the gate now saying that you can't, you, you, you're not really supposed to go down there, because I don't think it's safe, to be honest. Somewhere along them lines. But look how low it is. You know, you'd think they'd find dead bodies. I mean, there is a lot of shit down here. Look, people just fucking throw it in off the bridge, don't they? The scratters. Look at this. Look, there's some, like, iron work just down there. Some gates and stuff. And that, you can see up the wall, can't you, how low it is. It's about nine metres down or something. Ten metres, maybe more. That's bloody crazy. Crazy. Yeah. It's a lovely place though. This is probably about two or three miles from my house. Right, I'm gonna have a quick vape. Then we'll get off. I think we've got a big day tomorrow. We're going out riding with Neil. So we might go up North Yorkshire or we might go somewhere totally different. I don't know. But we'll soon find out, won't we? Right, I'll see you in five, guys. Let's go have a quick nose, eh? Look at that. Well, that's pretty awesome. You can walk along it. Have a look at the top side there. Grab them keys. Wakefield and District Waterworks, Baiting's Reservoir. Opened by the Right Honourable Henry Brook, MP. I love it when they say stuff like that. The Right Honourable. It's like so Masonic and shit, innit? Right, just opened by Mr. Brook, Mr. Henry Brook, MP. With your water squares community, 5657. All right, that's pretty cool. Who died during the con construction? Oh, what's this drill and shots? What the hell is this? Oh, so these, these are the guys who died while they were building it. The assistant engineer, a banksman, S signaler. Hmm. So I gather, all right, oh yeah, battery's flat, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up here. So thanks very much for watching. I'll be faster, you'll be you, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.